who needs significant others? <laughs> Not me. I signed up for a cute romance and I'm over here crying about my chronic illness. What's up fam? I'm Jessica Nicole Dickerson aka JND and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I will be reading Get a Life by Chloe Brown. You know why? Because it's Valentine's Day which, you know, some people refer to it as Singles Awareness Day or Galentine's Day, but for me, it's just another day. I might send a cute little text to my parents showing them that I love them, but that's about it. I do not let consumerism freak me out and think that I need to do all of that in a bag of chips. Nah, I'm good. I'm comfy. It's gonna be a chill day. Comfy clothes. Um, yeah, but why did no one warn me that? Let me get it. Wait. No one warned me about how incredibly, I just, there were so many feels, some of them not good. So let's get into the vlog, because I have a lot to say. In case you were wondering about today's fit, oh, Valentine's Day chic, I know, right? Let's, let's, let's give you a little toursy. So I got my hair and a little ponytail, half up, half down, you know, to accentuate the face got my glasses for my my reading so my date doesn't feel ignored you know um we got black panther t-shirt a must from target <laughs> and then these leggings from forever 21 like seven years ago and yeah my bed's a mess just like my life it's all great valentine's day is awesome right right if you do not have a papa's on chair yet I highly recommend getting one. Best investment ever. Truly. Also going to be listening to this on script. <laughs> this might have been a mistake. It's fun. It's definitely written in a really, really, really fun way. I'm really liking the writing style. It's just so filled with joy and there's jokes and there's just, it's, it's fun and it's I like how the accents are all written but this might be the wrong book because I've been like having so many issues dealing with my own illness if you don't know I'm diabetic what up <laughs> um, and she's dealing with fibromyalgia which is obviously completely different she has bodily pains yada 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 I just need to micromanage everything I eat and stuff um, but I've come to the realization this past few weeks and months since leaving the hospital. Ah, am I really gonna get this deep right now? Let's, let's do it. It's Valentine's Day. Let's, let's talk about real-ish besides fake holidays that are all about consumerism. Um, so I've decided to see a therapist because I really am struggling to take insulin, to want to manage my food, to like, it's just, it's, I feel like been a very traumatizing experience after leaving the hospital, um, which is interesting because the hospital visit was actually so peaceful because I didn't have to worry about the food or taking insulin. Um, so yeah, I'm starting to see a therapist. I need to still call to get my endocrinologist, but like I, I think I'm, st I'm just having, I have a lot um, on my mind. Like even calling a doctor made me, like calling my doctor to set up appointments and stuff just made me cry. It just makes me so anxious and depressed um, because yeah, that's where I'm at. <laughs> I think I just had so many like bad experiences with doctors and stuff that I'm just like it's just all nerve-wracking and it really sucks because like I feel like my life really depends on doctors educating me because I know nothing <laughs> but yeah a little bit about me so I'm reading this and she's talking about fibromyalgia and I'm just like trying not to cry <laughs> what a good way to spend your Valentine's Day right sitting here with me reading a fun romance book that's all about joy and finding life and crying about your mental health and chronic illness joy so i am now 50 pages into get a life chloe brown and it's so sweet i 
I just read the scene where she's saving a cat. Um, I'm gonna make this vlog spoilery actually because this has been out since I feel like 2019. I just read the scene where she went to go save the cat and like of course her body's like retaliating and she's feeling lots of pain. Okay, the cat first off is the cutest thing. I just now realized there's a little cat here in the illustration. I hope this cat is a part of the story. I want this cat to be a character because it was so cute how she was talking to it and it was responding. I want a cat. My brother has four cats. My sister has a cat and a dog. I want a pet. Can I get a pet? No, because I'm unemployed and yo, know, I can't I can't get a cat till I'm stable. But it's happening in the near future. Someone's gonna hire me. It's gonna happen. <laughs> but it was so cute and how he yeah, helped her. I hope Red starts to understand why she's acting the way she's acting and doesn't hold his ex-girlfriend's um like evil vibe onto Chloe for much longer. We'll see. I feel like these two have got major trust issues, so it's gonna be it's gonna be a minute till they till they connect. But yeah, so far very cute. I'm very happy with the writing style. The pacing has been really fun. Um, that that whole chapter with the cat and saving the cat is so cute, undeniably so. Okay, I'm gonna keep reading, and yeah, I'll buy my gold pee first and maybe get some chocolate. I wish I had wine. I don't have wine. That makes me sad. Update. I have acquired chocolate. It's dark chocolate with sea salt. Ooh. We'll see if I like it. I'm not picky. The caramel's not necessary, but it's chocolate that's what counts his mom takes insulin we have a diabetic character ladies and gentlemen i don't know what this means but i shouldn't be excited that there's diabetic characters i can i can representation is important oh but chloe's in pain it's so sad i hope red helps her he has to be a gentleman he has to or else my valentine's day is ruined so it's been a few hours and I just made lunch, which is the most ridiculous lunch I've ever made, but <laughs> chicken nuggets and I forget what this is called, <laughs> but that's my lunch. And I'm currently on page, let me get the book. And I'm currently on page 148. Um, really loving this. I'm loving that it's more like a slow burn. Like obviously there's angst and tension, but it's just like the right amount. They're not like aggressively in love. They're aggressively denying their feelings, which again, perfect tension. So enjoyable. Um, what scene did I want to talk about? Because the motorcycle scene, so cute. If you've read it, you know. Um, she's trying to complete her list of things um, and one of them is to ride a motorcycle so she gets on the back of his motorcycle and it's the cutest thing I don't think I would have the balls to do that I'd be like I'm not dying today if I die it can't be from that no <laughs> oh and then now it's like he's come into her apartment to like talk about the list and stuff and it's just so sweet the email the emails gave me so much joy so if you've read this, you know. If you haven't, there's a couple pages where they're sending emails to each other and it's just so flirtatious and great, but like also jokative and just lighthearted. It's just phenomenal. I, I would read you sentences of it, but that's, I feel like a little boring. And yeah, but it's everything. It's everything. I'm really, 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 really enjoying myself. I do say her talking about her chronic illness is making me a little bummed just making me realize how not on top of my game I am <laughs> and it was especially bad because my doctor literally called me in the middle of reading this which was so funny it was in the middle of the scene where he's napping if you know you know but she's like your a1c is good because when I went to the hospital my a1c was 11 which is bad your blood it's, it's blood stuff blood science stuff um, mine was just at a 6.8, so I'm doing okay, but like when I went into the office, my blood sugar was at like 280 something, which is bad, um, which probably led to having 
a high A1C in November because it's uncontrollable. Joys, um, so that bummed me out. So she's like, are you gonna see your endocrinologist soon? Because you're, you, you should. Apparently there's other medications that I could possibly be taking to help me, but I don't want any more shots. I wanna shush my But yeah, that's, that's what's happening. It's a good time. It's still fun, it's still very fun. Um, I just think for me personally with my mental state, I'm just like, wow, what a, what a time. I, ooh, ooh. I'm gonna eat my nuggets. I just got a new cup of coffee. I don't know if you can see it smoking. Nice. Hot cup of coffee is literally the best thing ever. That's how you treat yourself on Valentine's Day. Coffee, who needs significant others? <laughs> Not me. So a little um, get a life Chloe Brown update. I am, let's see, I think 200, 220 six pages in. I think I have about 120 something pages left. I'm really liking the story so far. <sighs> there was a part when Chloe's describing her chronic illness and people leaving her life after it. It just, it lit up, it made me cry. <laughs> Cause I've had someone leave my life after being diagnosed and dealing with all of that. And then them leaving is just so, I know like my circumstance was obviously very different but like it, it I just cried so I'm just like yeah f you people <laughs> um this this book is hitting me way too hard it's it really is I was I signed up for a cute romance and I'm over here crying about my chronic illness <sighs> but I definitely want to read the other stories now I really like how the other sisters are such distinct characters already so it's like very interested to explore their role worlds more like what they're up to and stuff um and i just think yeah i really care for chloe brown i think red is such a cool character i think they're both quite awesome i just wasn't in the mental space to tackle all this because i'm just like thinking about my life and i'm just like i wanted some escapism sir ma'am <laughs> please um, but I think these last 120 pages, the self-realizations and stuff will be positive, I'm hoping. As a romance, I hope they end up together and it's like a good, happy, solid ending so I can be like joyous and not like, <sighs> like feeling anxious and sad. That's the hope. We'll see. Oh my god, this has been such a ride, this book. Oh my god. I also really like that Red is considering therapy. I feel like it's so rare for like guys to even talk about mental health in general in books. Like even mental health in general in books, so lacking, at least in the ones that I read, um, that aren't like super, super educational. But the fact that he's like, I think I'm gonna do therapy and like I have issues that I need to resolve is so, brava, brava, slow clap. You know, this moment deserves applause. <laughs> I have no words. I'm very excited. It's been a ride. It's been an emotional ride on my little heart, my little ticker. <sighs> so, as you can tell, it's much later and I have turned off my light and I finished Get a Life, Chloe Brown. Um, wow, boy, do I have so many feelings. And I think I'm going to... Tomorrow I'll wrap it up. I treated myself <laughs> to some Mickey D's. And most importantly, the cinnamon bun. But it's just an exciting meal. We have to, we have to christen this occasion. Ugh. So I've decided instead of wallowing in all my feels after finishing that book i am going to watch always and forever laura jean i think is the last one yep and i'm hoping it'll give me that warm fuzzy feeling i want because get a life chloe brown gave me some feelings some of them were warm and fuzzy some of them were not but so we're gonna we're gonna go somewhere else for the rest of the night and i will update you at the end how I feel. I'm gonna enjoy the crap out of this food. That's too mm. 
I said treat yourself today. Treat yourself forever, every day. Yeah, why on Valentine's Day? What a stupid concept. Consumerism. Got us all twisted. Making me feel hella lonely. I'm great. Mishraj, bae. They're having this really mushy scene where they're like, I choose you, Laura Jean. I choose you, Peter Kavitsky. <laughs> and it's just making me think of Pokemon where it's like, Pikachu, I choose you. Is that just me? I hope not. Do you really comment down below? <laughs> Let me know. Oh, so it's the next day and I finished Get a Life Chloe Brown as I told you guys and I watched oh, Laura Jean or Always and Forever Laura Jean. So cute. I love that for the last movie they didn't really follow the book. I found that the last book wasn't my favorite in the trilogy. I've read that trilogy before. I love, love the second book. Which is funny because I hate the second movie because I feel like the second movie didn't do the book justice and it didn't veer off enough to be a different story. Whereas I feel like this third movie really veered off so I could appreciate the movie in itself. How can you take out tag? Okay, besides the point. Um, I really enjoyed that movie. I thought it was cute and touching. I still don't like the fact that it kind of pushes the idea that your um, high school crush or relationship is like the one to be. But obviously it's a romantic comedy so they're going to force some bull hanky at us. So. But it's cute and it's what I needed because this book did not give me what I needed. I'm so sad. Oh, okay. So I think I have some unpopular opinions about this. Um, I don't, I have to rewatch videos of people who read this and what they said because I was not, I was not aware that so much of her life would be controlled by her chronic illness and it just made me incredibly, incredibly sad because, you know, I feel like when you have a chronic illness, you're never like all together you're always striving to do better and whatever get on the right path like her like she you see her have episodes if she didn't want to eat how much pain she would be in because it's like you have to take so much care of yourself to be in a good state like consistently you have to you have to constantly be on hyper alert and it's very exhausting and you can't do it all the time and sometimes you fall and you you have an episode because of it and it's like I wasn't ready it made me really sad because and then it's like the whole abandonment issue things I've dealt with that where it's like you're diagnosed and people don't get it and don't handle it or don't support you and then leave you and it's like depressing beyond all means and I didn't need that I'm still giving it a four star um but I definitely cried a lot because of her circumstance and like, I don't know, the fact that she also has money and like can just call up her doctor and she has access to all these drugs, it, that says a lot. Like, I, some people don't have that. Some people are struggling with that and it's just, yeah. So this book made me cry for all the wrong reasons and I had to put it down a bunch of times like because it was just very triggering. Um, so if you have a chronic illness, you please be warned do not read this unless you're in a good mental state that's also what i didn't realize i should have known um how triggering triggering it would be for someone who has a chronic illness and doesn't have their crap together but yeah it was it was quite triggering quite sad and i just wasn't in the mental space to read about someone else's struggle whilst going through my own very similar struggle and i'm not at the other end yet <laughs> um yeah i feel like this gives good representation i don't personally know but i like it's very similar to my experience so i feel like oh hey maybe this is good representation which is cool i love it but it just wasn't fun to read about in my opinion <laughs> Ooh, but the writing okay let's talk about some positives I really 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 enjoyed the writing of this it was so fun so funny so quirky I really loved the banter their love was believable and the shmarishis they were really good not to lie I also really love the fact that Red is seeking therapy for his abusive 
or previous abusive relationship and you see him kind of have like these anxious attacks these panic attacks um which is really good representation for just a male character again not sure i needed that right now in this moment like i feel this book can be quite triggering to certain people <laughs> um who are maybe experiencing those same feelings right now and wanted an escape from that and instead pick this book up thinking oh cute she's getting a new life and then it's like ah it does say on the back that she is chronically ill but i just i wasn't aware of the the extent and now i know and now i'm sharing it with you i hope you are informed i hope we as community can help people know <laughs> Maybe I'm just, maybe I missed something, yeah. Because it's also really sad because when after she left the hospital, how scared she was to even go outside or do anything. I've, I've been there, been there, literally been sick, gone to the hospital, and like now I'm so scared to do anything. <laughs> I, most people will probably really enjoy this book. Obviously, everyone in booktube enjoys this book. Um, I will maybe try and read this in a few years and see if i can actually actually enjoy it um i think in some clips i showed that i was like having a really good time i but i think that's before it hit the really serious topics of things but yeah i'm still giving it a four star it was a great story great message great writing i was not mentally prepared <laughs> period in the story that's it so if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up so i actually know you liked it and i'll make more videos like this um it also supports my channel a lot um if you want to leave a comment and you don't know what to say maybe put down uh this emoji right here um it means the world to me reading through your comments and stuff even though i can't always reply to everyone i still love you so much and appreciate you so much okay have a good day wherever you are and i know i'm posting this on valentine's day so if you are in a relationship if you're single whatever spend some time with yourself this is a fake holiday please don't stress out this is all about consumerism just make sure you send a lovely message to the ones you love that's you know meaningful because sometimes it's good to hear i love you and that's it don't do the whole shebang gift buying stressful life it's like nah pandemic man we're not going anywhere maybe send you chocolates maybe just send you a cute heartfelt letter of love that's it no pressure it's okay you're doing good I, you're doing good i believe in you i hope this video gave you a little bit more sunshine and i will see you in the next one bye